This video is for what do you do if you mess up on your air brakes. So you have your air brakes and you're doing your test, the end cap, you get to the air brakes and you mess it up because you forget to do one of the steps. So if your truck is running, your gear driven air compressor is building air. So if you try to do your air brakes with the truck running, your gear driven air compressor is building air. When you do the applied pressure test, you're going to gain air that's not allowing you to notice any leaks. So the first thing you need to do is make sure you turn the truck off. Now we have the air gauge. You see how it's not working? It needs power to work. If the key's not on the on position for the warning light and buzzer, the warning light and buzzer will not sound. So we need to make sure that the key is on the on position. The on position. Look at that. Our gauges work. Now, for the third part of the air brakes is going to be your pop out test. If these two valves are not pushed in, then they're not going to pop out for, for the, the pop out test. So you need to make sure that these two valves are. Now we're going to say that you messed that up. You messed that up. You forgot one of those three things that you need to do before you start your air brakes on your test. So we're going to pretend that you messed one of those up and you have to restart your air brakes. At the point that you realize that you messed this up, don't just say, uh, I failed. Just go ahead and end my test. What you need to do is reset up for your air brakes. So we're going to do this by doing another safe start. So what we're going to do is make sure our brakes are set. You're going to tug on the brake valves. You're going to make sure that your transmission's in neutral. We're in neutral. And then we're going to start up the truck. So we're going to turn the key on, start the truck up. Now, depending on your truck and who your trainer is, is how they want you to build the air pressure up. Me, I like to do the clear off all the screens. Then I like to hit the double window right here, which pops up this screen. I will hold the up button on the steering wheel till my RPMs are all the way up. And then I will let the air pressure build up till the truck sneeze or you hear the governor cut out. I call it a sneeze. The truck will go you're at the governor cutout then you're gonna reset up you hear that that was a governor cutout you're gonna reset up key off key on push in the valves Mr. Examiner I'm now ready to restart my air brakes then you go ahead and do your air brakes again so remember, just because you mess them up the first time does not mean you cannot restart. Restart as many as you need to, times as you need to. I hear that the record is 13 times. The person reset it 13 times, messed up all, thir all 12 times, but on the 13th time, they got it exactly right 100% and they passed their test. Just make sure that you're not going to give up on this. The air brakes is a part of the end cap. You will start the end cap from the very start and you will go all the way to the end of it so that is how you restart that air brakes make sure you like comment and subscribe and never give up if you know it was wrong restart it like comment and subscribe ring the bell get my latest lives get my newest videos also in the description there's a link to fill out an application and get my recruiter my recruiter's good. Don't forget to drop that referral code, COXDJL. Also, my phone number is 417-894-8098. Drop me a call, text me, something.